What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and a couple of months back I discovered an amazing artist known by the name Akai Riot. Maybe he's famous to some people and sort of infamous to others. The gist of him is he does Nintendo artwork of a lot of our favorite characters in somewhat obscure positions but regardless of the positions the art is usually amazing quality and really showcases his unique style. I really don't know how to describe his art to be honest with you but the way that the characters are portrayed sort of loyal to the way that their original personalities are while still having sort of a flair to the art style. It's awesome. It's not like standard by any means. And if you haven't checked out Akai Riot's art, I'll leave a link in the description to his pages where you can go show him some love. He had made a drawing of Robin from Fire Emblem Awakening in a swimsuit. It's kind of like a cute little thing. I think this was back in summer, I believe. I found the picture to be adorable. I mean, it, it, it's a little bit, you know, uh, what, what's the word that the weeaboos call it? Iche? I don't know how to pronounce it, man, but it, it was, it was cute. I liked it a lie. One of my squad members actually by the name of CJ, I'll also leave a link to him in the description, he does tool assist videos for Smash. CJ had seen the Robin swimsuit picture that Akai drew and said, hey man, I'm gonna try to recolor this to make it more suitable for the red Robin that you claim all the time. If you guys don't know, uh, I like using Robin in Smash, that's my main. I actually like both sides, male and female, but you know, in terms of Robin, not my preference or whatever, but I mean, just, just, just clearing that up, niggas would take that to town. The color variation that I like using is red Robin. You don't really get to use it, I think, in Awakening, but she looks really good with it, so red Robin is kind of the main that I claim. CJ recolored that original Robin swimsuit artwork that Akai Rai did to a red one, and I loved it. I I tweeted it, I like, said it to my wallpaper on my phone at some point, and it was really cool. The fact that the original artist also, Akai, he acknowledged it and said, oh yeah, that is pretty cool. That was awesome in my book. A couple, some time went past and I was saying, man, this is such a cool design. I feel like this is, this could be something greater. So I hit up Akai, right, and I said to him, dude, I think we need to work together, man. We need to work together to bring this amazing design to a t-shirt. And at first, he was down, he was uh, right away. But he said that he wanted to make a revamped version of it to make sure that, you know, he, he makes it a little bit better looking. Fast forward to today, my friends, and I'm bringing you one of my only collaborations ever on this channel, one that I did with Akai Ride specifically, Swimsuit Red Robin. This design has so much story behind it, so much preparation. I've been busting my balls for the past few months to make sure that this thing goes down correctly. When you look at the comparison of this versus the first version that he originally made on Twitter, it's one hell of a stark difference. This one's way better looking and it's way more tailored to be shown on a shirt. I feel like this design is one of the best that I've ever seen from Akai, period. I mean, of course, obviously there's bias there because she's my main, but still. Looking at the shirt specifically, you can obviously tell that quality was the focus with this. If we were going to go through with this and put this on a shirt, I wanted to make sure that everything would be outstanding in terms of the print, the way that it's on the shirt, the shirt's quality itself, you know, because I didn't want some bullshit, you know, cheap shirt that wouldn't really feel like it can withstand anything or that you wash it and it totally loses shape. So with the shirt design choice, we went with something that would be digitally printed and the shirts themselves are from American Apparel, which is definitely one of the higher tiers of shirts that you can get online through campaigns like Teespring and whatnot. But speaking of campaigns, this one is also not going to be hosted on Teespring as when I tried to make this design go through on Teespring, they said that there were too many colors being used and that the design would be too big. Therefore, they wouldn't be able to go through with it. They wouldn't be able to give us the quality that we needed with this. So I decided to go hunting for a company that can bring this shirt to you guys in the stunning, pristine quality that I need and I found Booster and I've been working with them hand in hand over the past few weeks over dozens of emails to ensure that this shirt comes out right. They were able to send me preview editions of exactly what it would look like so I can give you my 100% guarantee that this shirt is premium my boys. When you're talking about a t-shirt the quality of the original image is super important to how the final product is going to look and I can tell you for a fact that the original image is probably one of the most high quality ones I've handled on my PC up to now. It's some ridiculous resolution. I think it's like 2,500 by 5,500. It's a crazy aspect ratio with a ton of pixels packed into it. So the final result is an amazingly sharp image on the front of this shirt and that's the way I wanted it. Teespring would not have been able to do this the way I needed. The colors are perfectly accurate, represented exactly the way that they are in the original image. Since it's such a huge image and has such high pixel density, you can zoom in extremely close to it and still have it fully crisp, clean, sharp without a single drop in quality at all. This is exactly what I wanted to do for this t-shirt design considering that my last batch of shirts was more simplistic, as you can see. This one is totally going against the grain and making an amazingly big, 
beautiful, bold design out of one of my favorite characters. The main thing that I wanted to go for here with a Kai Ride is that we bring you guys a shirt that will exceed the boundaries of previous ones that we've seen from other campaigns and I'm really hoping that this one does so. You're getting quality all across the board. The printing is really high end. It won't come off if you wash it as well so you can rely on this shirt as long as you treat it relatively well. You know you don't want to leave it crumpled up in like a, a, a hamper or something. You want to take good care of it. As long as you're gentle with it this shirt should last you for a really long time. I've been I had these for uh, over a week now and I can tell you dudes just from first-hand experience these things are premium. For all of you dudes who are living in countries outside of the United States. I know you had some shipping issues with Teespring beforehand. Booster ensured me that most places will be able to have this shirt shipped to them internationally. So a lot of you dudes don't have to worry. There'll be a full list of countries in the description. Almost everyone will be able to order this internationally. And the shipping cost shouldn't be too high, but that depends on your area. So, you know, I don't want to say, you know, I don't want to just assume that it will be cheap, but some areas might have higher shipping than others. But altogether, this is going to be an amazing project. I've been wearing the shirts in my previous videos and streams as well too. You guys have seen. It's I love it. We went through so much preparation to bring this to you guys now, but I'm glad that it's finally complete. So I will leave a link to everything in the description. Definitely head down to Akai Riot on Twitter and show that man some support. I'll talk to you guys later on. Let me know what you think about this. Take care of yourselves and of course as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. You better tip them scales with me my boy. We're ready.